So, diddlies. Improving your diddlies. I would call these fast troubles, or in some regards, I call them a gallop treble, because they sound like, you know, you know, the sound effect of like a horse like running. It kind of sounds like a gallop. So sometimes I'd call it like a gallop treble. Um, uh, it's not easy. No, it's it's super difficult, and it's something that I work on a lot with dancers separating from what's a slow treble, what's a fast treble, what's a held fast treble. A lot of more complicated steps will play around with, you know, all the different types of trebles and create these crazy combinations where it's like slow treble into fast, into held fast, into slow, instead of like all slow trebles. When we first learn Irish dancing, our trebles are always going to be more on that even rhythm. It's very even rhythms, bop, 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 almost like a machine gun, you know. Um, but then we, we then start learning, oh, I can put three rhythms into the space where we just did two. And that's where the, the, the term sometimes I throw around triplet comes in. It's where you can fit three rhythms where there was once two. Like that, two trebles. I can do three trebles, but faster. It fits the same amount of time. So it's kind of things like that fitting more rhythms into a space where there are two. So three instead of two. When we look at that fat, uh, a slow treble, we have a very strong ankle prep and all of the stuff, knee pop pulled up, our front foot pretty much right next to our back leg to get, get our brush out and brush back. We still do that, but on our, on our release, we loosen that ankle just a little bit more and we uh, throw the treble more. So practicing how to do that, jumping into your treble, so instead of just going getting a, that extra throw to it, loosening the ankle and whipping that treble instead of going brush out and brush back, try to make it more of a, of a jab, um, more of a jab with your foot than uh, a one, two, okay? Then you toss into that the jump to go into it, off the back foot, and we have a fast treble there. And the more you can loosen that ankle, the better, in most cases. You want to use that muscle, uh, your quad as well, your upper muscles too, to do that work as well. You loosen the ankle so that it does less work. It, it just kind of, it just kind of flips out. Um, but it's all work controlled by that front leg. Um, so, where else would we go with this? Um, we did a video similar to this a couple weeks back, separating slow and fast troubles. Um, but kind of similar to when you're just learning regular troubles, slow it all down. Practice just that trick, you know? Don't try and throw it into other stuff, you know? Try to really dial in on that rhythm before putting it into your steps or whatever else you're going to be doing it. Um, what else? Um, so loosened ankle. Loose ankle. Um, we want it picked up. We don't want, so if, if my foot's all the way away from my body, <laughs> three in a row, I can't even get the treble out there. So it's super important, just like our regular trebles, to have it prepped um, going into it. Getting that treble, literally, like I'm getting that connection with the floor right in front of me, almost right underneath me. Um, so you want that to happen. If you feel that your troubles are going out here, record yourself like on an iPhone, like sideways, and see where that treble's actually going. If it's all the way out here, that's probably your main thing, main point with, with uh, for consistency. You want that treble to be right, right near you. Um, but then also. Doing two in a row. After your fast treble, you want to pick that up and get ready for that fa next fast treble. Okay, um, it's so the back foot is so important in a fast treble. It fuels that fa that that rhythm, that treble that comes out. So if this is like, if this isn't if this doesn't have a punch to it, there's nothing going to be coming from this. So you really want you want that back foot to punch into the floor. Okay, obviously you don't want the heel to drop. So it's it's a punch off the, like, the ball of your foot. Um, doing two of those in a row, same idea. You want to be able to anticipate that second time around. 
You don't want it to go. So you don't, you don't want it to fall off. You want to keep that intensity. So then switching the feet. Whoop, missed one. You want to push that back foot. Um, yeah. So overall, again, loose ankles. Prep. Start for up from here. Pick your knee up so that that trouble can happen right, right underneath you and not away from you. And then give a very strong back foot. Uh, that back foot strength fuels whatever trouble comes out of it. So if it's if it's just dinky, it's gonna be it's gonna be quiet. If you if you punch that back leg, it sets the bar of that rhythm so much higher. Okay. So fast troubles, diddlies, gallops, whatever you want to call them. That's a great entry uh, kind of overview of that of that rhythm. So hope that helped. Cool. Huge shout out and thank you to everyone who's taken their support of this channel to the next level, either by becoming a patron over on Patreon or becoming a member of the channel. For more information about how you can support the channel more, check the description below the video. Thanks and have a good one.